Hey y'all, it's April from Studio Mommy. So a question I get asked often is how to add sidebars to poster pages. Now most of my themes come with a sidebar already at, already set to it. Um, it could just be on a blog page um, and or sometimes on all the post pages. So I'm going to show you how to change that if you want to, if you want to add sidebars or remove sidebars if you want to. So there are two ways you can do it. You can do it, you can add a sidebar, remove a sidebar for the entire site, or you can do it per a post or per a page. So I'm gonna show you how to, how to start with the entire site first. So the, what you would do is you'd go to Appearance and then Customize. Then you're going to click on, let's see, it's going to be Post Pages Layout. And then this is where you can choose whether you want to do all the pages on your site, all the posts on your site, or archive layout, which is the blog page. And for this tutorial, I'm going to use find the joy theme that I sell on my site. Okay, so let's start with the single post. So if I go over here to blog, this is the blog page. Now, if I click on a post, that will be the single post. It's like each post individually. But what we're remember, what we're changing right now is for all the blog posts. So if we scroll down right here where it says default post layout, this shows that it has the sidebar. So on find the joy, you will see a right sidebar. So if you wanted to remove that, you would just choose one of these other ones that says normal. Um, this is like a narrow skinny blog post. So there's other options or move the sidebar to the left. Now remember, whichever one you choose is going to change it for all the blog posts. Now if yours is normal and you don't have a sidebar, but you want to add one, that's where you would click on the right sidebar one. And you can see in the image that has like a little left, um, I don't know, grayed out area from top to bottom in that icon. And then on the right side, it also has one on the right. So that's how you can tell which one's left or right. Okay, so that's how you change it for the post. Now the archive is the actual blog page. So if I go to blog, so this is the actual blog page. And then over here's where you can choose to add a right sidebar to the blog page or remove it if you want it just to be normal. And then for the pages, not the post or the blog, but for your actual pages, like your about page or your contact page, let me see, I'm going to go to the about page. So on my themes, the pages do not come with a um, sidebar, but if you wanted to add that, again, you would just choose that right sidebar and then click publish at the top. Now, if you wanted to do it per post per page, maybe there's just one post where you wanted to have a sidebar or one page where you wanted to have the sidebar. I'm going to leave the customizer and then I'm going to go to posts and then I'm just going to edit the very first post just to give you an example and show you. So if we click preview and view this post right now, it does come with a sidebar. But if you wanted to remove that sidebar, let's say your post doesn't have a sidebar and you want to add that sidebar just to this post only, you would click up here where it has um, this post settings icon, click on there. And then again, here's that post layout where you can choose how you want that single post to be set. So this is where you can add a right sidebar or a left sidebar, you know, whether you want your sidebar on the left or right, or if your post does have a sidebar and you wanna remove it from that post, you would just click on normal. So that's how you would do that. And then after you make your changes, just click update. So it'd be the same way with pages as well. You would go to that page and make those changes. And you can always preview your site by clicking on the preview icon to, sorry about that, I have dogs, to see how that would look. Okay, thanks guys.